Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Hannah. Um, so today, if you can tell by my very festive outfit, um, one, it's Taylor Swift's 31st birthday. So that is why I'm wearing my uh, shirt that my friend made me. It says we can leave the Christmas lights up till January and then Taylor Swift and little Christmas tree. It's so cute. I love it. Um, this is the DIY um, Santa hat that I made that looks like Taylor's. Um, there's a video on that if y'all want to watch it. Um, also, it's on my TikTok, which is um, Peter Losing Wendy. Um, so today, I got sidetracked. So today I'm going to be doing a video on how to make a tree skirt, DIY tree skirt. Um, might do an outfit, I'm not sure yet, I will let y'all know. I might get a tank top, um, so that I can make a top, because I was gonna make a top out of the skirt. I just don't have enough fabric. I can only make the skirt. Which is pretty easy. Um, I'm also following a YouTube video, so this isn't really like a tutorial. Um, but I am just going to share the process and how I'm doing it and um, how it turns out. So I really hope it turns out good and I really hope y'all keep on watching if y'all want to see how I do it. So thank you. I will show y'all. Um, so I made the skirts out of a tree skirt. No, I'm kidding. I, I didn't make it yet. I just tied it around my waist. But, I mean, if y'all... This is kind of how it's going to look anyway. I mean, I just have to do the waistband of it. And then it will be a poo skirt. Um, a poo skirt. It looks like a poo skirt. That's why I keep calling it a poo skirt. <laughs> but, yeah. I think it's going to be really cute. Fun, fun, fun. So I just cut the waistband part out, if y'all can see, you probably can't really tell. And this is kind of how it looks without it being sewn. So now I'm going to make the waistband and see what happens. But I think it looks pretty good so far actually. The, um, that, this part, the fuzzy part started coming off and I was like, I'm scared that that's going to come completely off so I'm just not going to do that. It might show this on the other side a little bit, but um, I guess it's okay because it's going to be in the back, so it might not be too bad. That you do your waistband, got to measure out to your size, um, then you got to sew this up and then attach it. Okay, so y'all can't really see because it's black, there you go. But I did sew the um, thing shut, so now I'm going to attach it to the skirt. I'm pinning. I got like one side halfway done. Now I just gotta do the other side. Okay, so now I got the waistband pinned on. Um, the front and the back's pinned on and I gotta sew it on there and um, hope for the best. Okay, so I sewed on the waistband. It took a minute, but that's what it looks like on the floor. And I will try it on and show y'all. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the back. Oh, I did not mean to drop that. Okay, but yeah, I think I did pretty good. Maybe I'll get to make a, a top to go with it, but I'll let y'all know. So for the top, I'm going to use a tank top that I got at Walmart. Um, pretty cheap. I got a small, um, I think a small or an extra small. I think it's a small though. It might be an extra small. Um, extra small. Anyway, so I got this. I'm gonna um, cut it about maybe here and then hem it. And I'm gonna put this feathery boa stuff basically on here. I don't know if I'm gonna glue it or sew it. I might hand sew it and then I might glue it then hand sew it. We'll see. Um, and then I'm gonna do this lace up detailing on the back with these and this ribbon. I had two tops um, pretty similar to what I'm making with um, with the fur and everything and um, this one I think is a little longer than that one and so um, I'm just gonna kind of line it up and then cut. I might I'm there I might cut a little I might cut a little below it um, so that I have room to hem it and yeah. I'm gonna try it on and see if that's where I want it to 
be. Um, if, if it's still kind of too long, I might, like I said, just hem it and then it's going to obviously make it shorter. So yeah. So this is what it looks like on without it being hemmed. I'm basically just going to hem it and then see what it looks like from there. It's probably going to be up to there, so not too bad. So I found these little ribbons. I might um, add one in the middle or something. We'll see. So I got my red thread so that I can thread my sewing machine with it. So we're basically just going to like fold it over each other um, a little bit and then sew it down. Um, and that do it inside out so the seams are hidden. So I got my red thread. I got this thingy because it's too big for that. Um, I got a thread a new bobbin since I'm changing the thread. So basically what you do is you wrap this around it and then once you get it there you'll put it here and then you're going to put this over here and then you have the presser foot down here and it moves so that you can thread it. What I do is I wrap it around a few times just so that it kind of stays and then you're going to put it on here, put that over there and then kind of hold it so that it doesn't get all tangled because sometimes it will and then you're just going to kind of do like, yeah see, and it does that and then I have to undo it, okay. So, let's try this again. Hold it, and then hopefully it doesn't do it again. I'm going to have to hold it. Um, so hold it kind of like this so that it like goes around until you get it to as much as you need. And then, yeah, that's kind of how it works. If you don't know how to thread it, I'm, I mean, I'm not the best, but you basically just follow the way that it says it does and you just kind of like come over here and you're gonna go under here and then you're gonna latch it there and then come down and then around up here through here and then you're gonna go around the needle around this little part here around I don't know this little part here and then you're gonna put it through the needle and then you're gonna grab this the bottom thread for some reason, the zigzag stitch was not really working too well, um, so I changed it to a straight stitch. Um, and let's see if that works. I'm really hoping that works. Um, oh wait, no, I need to put it on two. I think. I don't know what the first one does, really. So, we'll try that and see what happens. So, I hemmed it. It's not the best um i mean obviously it's not straight or anything but um it was really hard to use um do it with this fabric because it's so thin and stretchy it um was really like moving around easily but that's what it looks like on um like that i'm gonna try it on again and see what it looks like and then add the fuzzies now that i did my little hem and everything i'm gonna go ahead and figure out where i want this boa to go and um, I'm probably going to go get my glue, so I'm probably going to glue that on. Um, I don't know if I want to sew it on, like hand sew it. I don't know how I'm going to sew it on with... I'm scared to sew it on to it with the sewing machine. I don't know. I might try to sew it with the sewing machine and see what happens. Um, but I might just hand sew it. I had some of this extra um, little like rhinestone trim left over from my hat um, and I thought that it would look really cute if I like made the belt buckle in the middle of this like on the Santa belt so I'm gonna kind of cut this into four different strips to make a square and hopefully this works I have this that gem glue and hopefully it stays. I'm really hoping that works. So we're gonna try that. Basically, it's gonna look like this. And I might, I don't know if I wanna glue it on because it's gonna take a really long time for it to, to dry. I don't know. So I'm just gonna let that dry and hope that that actually is gonna stay on there. Um, if it doesn't, then I will probably take the hot glue gun to it, honestly, or just gonna take it off, but we'll see. 
So this is my fabric paint or fabric glue. I'm gonna um hope that this stays on. If it doesn't, I'm gonna sew. I'm just gonna sew over it anyway, so so that it's secure. But we're gonna try this glue first. What I did was I just put a little bit of glue on there, and then I'm gonna take this how. Ever I want it to go and line it up and then attach it till it is all on there all the way around here and then around to there like that so I just glued it on and it seems to be doing a pretty good job with that so I might just let that dry and then um, I think it should be good like that so, um, I'm going to move on and try to attempt to do the back of it with the lacing up detailing. So, I hope that turns out good. So, for the back, um, I really, really hope I don't mess this up. Um, so, I got these things and I kind of don't really know how to use them, but we're going to figure it out. So, I think I'm going to cut down straight through the middle so that I have these on this side and this on this side and then I can like use the ribbon to lace it up basically. So I clearly do not have any of the right stuff to use but this was our attempt by itself. Okay so I messed up and I um, really should have cut it before I actually did anything but I was scared that this wasn't going to work because you can see that it's not pretty. So I folded it over each other like it should have been when I did it, but it's okay. So I'm just going to attempt to sew it and see what happens and then cut out the circles. So I went and I sewed it and then I just cut the other side. I know it's really hard to see, but I cut it. Um, so that I can lace it now. I'm gonna try to lace it and see what happens. So that fabric, well, the jewel glue did not work very well. I'm just gonna do a hot glue gun. Um, I have to cut another piece because I lost another piece, but yeah. We're gonna hot glue that onto it. So I finally got it. I did these really short because one, I tried to fray the take the lighter and so that it doesn't fray and it kind of got short on me and then I didn't know how much I needed so it's kind of short but I finally finished this freaking thing it was so much work even though it's not that hard it was just very difficult for me so okay so I got three bows on the back and three bows on the front and I have an extra bow that I'm gonna add to my top and then I will try it on probably Thursday or I'll probably show you all Friday when I put it on because that's when I'm gonna wear it on Christmas Day so yeah oh my goodness I finally finished the outfit guys ready Santa baby who or also Ariana Grande thinking X Mean Girls we stain so this is the back I added some little cute bows I kind of ran out. There is the back, which is the lacing up detailing. That was really difficult to do, but I got it done. We got the little fuzzies. We got my little skirt that I made from a tree skirt. We got my fabulous boots on. And we have my hat that I even made as well to match Taylor's hat. And a matching little scrunchie. We love. And then. I have my snowflake necklace on and my earrings and yes i hope y'all liked this video guys and i hope y'all really like well guys that was it that was the video um it was a very complicated thing to do but honestly i mean it looks super easy and like it was pretty easy it's just i had a lot of trouble and i'm not that great at sewing and um everything but at least i made an outfit so i'm really proud of that um so if y'all enjoyed this video make sure to like comment subscribe whatever all that jazz and merry christmas and um i hope everybody is doing great um for christmas so bye